Hello, my name is Shan. Welcome to Shan for Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you today how to make these cards. They're actually um, double cards. The reason why I call them double cards is because they have they're actually two cards in one. It's one card and then inside is another card. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's very simple and very easy. Okay, so um, if you want to find out how I made these double cards, please stay with me and I'll show you how. Okay, now I'm going to be, I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to be needing to make this uh, project. It's very simple uh, and it's easy to make and it's very inexpensive. Okay, and this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making a double card. Okay, uh, of course the reason why I call it a double card, it has two layers. It has an outer card and the inner card. Okay. Okay, now this is a card I made and uh, and how I have it together okay is with this little uh, seam binding that I tied into a bow and I actually have holes in the paper that I use with cut uh, that I uh, punch with a hole puncher okay and the measurement uh, that you're going to be needing for this particular uh, card items you'll need okay you're going to need some card stock paper you need one sheet one sheet will do the whole project Okay, so you just need one sheet of cardstock paper. Okay, and uh, the the base for your cardstock paper, you need to cut it one piece, five inches, five inches wide by ten inches long. Okay, uh, the inner for the inner card, you need seven inches long by three and a half inches wide. Okay, then for the then you need four pieces of scrapbook paper. Okay, th this is the time you need to decide what your front is going to, what your cover is going to look like and what your inside is going to look like. I'm using this for my cover. So I have two of these. And this is for the inside. Okay, and this is five by five. Okay, so you need four pieces of scrapbook paper, five inches by five inches. Okay? And once again, you have to decide which is going on the inside or outside of your project. Then for the inner card, you need two pieces of three and a half by seven inches. Okay, this is going to be my outer part of the inner card, and this is going to be the inner. For example, like this. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and fold. You need to go ahead and um, get your hole puncher, simple hole puncher, and to make your holes for the uh, for the inner card, you need to make your hole at one and three fourths of an inch, which is in the middle. Okay, so measure one and three fourths of an inch. And put a little dot like that. Then take your punch and punch it. And punch the hole for. You don't want to be right on the edge. Just a little bit off the edge. Okay just like that. Okay. Then you take your. Your larger piece. Fold it in half. This is the card stock. Fold it in half. And then measure it two and a half inches in the middle okay two and a half put a little dot there then take it and punch it punch the hole make sure you're not on right on the edge a little bit off the edge okay once again just like that okay and then you do the same thing for your scrapbook paper which i've already done to save time the only thing about this is that you need to physically put your card together to see exactly where the holes would go to because if you're working with a specific design you want to make sure your holes gonna be in the right place for example I wanted this to be on this side 
So it was very important that I not put the punch over here, but in the middle. So you gotta kind of visually know what your car is gonna look like before you put it together. Okay, once you have all that done, uh, come back and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, now we're gonna put this card together really quickly. Okay, just gonna have a, a standard tape, tape glider. Okay, and um, I like to start with the inside of the card. Go ahead and get that going. Okay. And I'm just basically taping everything in here. I'm gonna tape together, tape the uh, card stock paper to the inner and outer cards. Okay, and then when I'm done with that, I'll come right back to you. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I just wanna show you what I've done so far. I have, I got my lace put on my card on both parts, the inner card and the outer card. Okay, here's the inside. I've already started to embellish it a little bit. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, going ahead and putting this together, okay? Now what you need is you need a uh, ribbon, or oh, I'm going to use this seam binding because it's very smooth and it's very flexible. I cut out about, uh, it's about... About 14 inches of the seam binding, okay? And you're gonna put your inner and outer card together. You also need some string and a needle and a button and a small button, okay? Okay. Got my needle here and my string. I just have to get a button. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take this and thread it through. Both, both part, parts of the card and pull it through like that then take it through the other side and push it through till you get to the other side just like that okay then you want to tie it you don't want to tie it extra tight just you know because then that the card won't open and close easily. Okay, like that. And make sure your little bow is kind of even. Okay. Okay. Like this. Okay. Okay, like that. Pull that through a little bit more. Okay, like that. Okay? Okay, and then you still can open it with no problem and close it. Okay? Now, um, you just cut the ribbon down, the ends down. You're just going to stitch this button a few times through this part here. The actual bow on the edge. I'm going to put stitch it through. And then I'm going to um, show you exactly how I do it. So I'm going to put this here. Then I'm going to go from, I'm going to go in the back. Okay. And I'm gonna, a thimble would be good if you have a thimble. I don't have one right now. But if you have a thimble, you can put that on to keep from getting your finger poked. Okay. Put it through, then put the button on there. Okay, then go through. And then just finish it off by putting it through a few times. And then tying it off, okay? I'm going to finish this up and come right back with you. I want to show you a little trick I have. Now, I got the button... Uh, sign, sign, uh, uh, sewn on there. So now I always hold the bow together. Now I cut it off on the back. I'm gonna take some tacky glue on a, um, on a, uh, a, a, a cotton swab. And I'm gonna dab just a little bit back there. That'll keep that from ever coming apart back there. Just a little bit. 
Now I'm going to do the, the, the same thing to these edges here of the seam binding. That way they'll never come apart. Okay? So if you use seam binding and you cut it, keep from coming apart. Just take a cotton swab, put a little tacky glue on there, and just dab the edge just a little bit, and it will never come okay. apart. Now I'm finished with this card. Okay? Now this is the finished product. Okay? Now this is... Uh, this is some paper flowers that I used and a doily that I had in my stash. Okay. And uh, here's the inside. Okay, now here this part. I fussy cut it, this uh, image out. I put, put it on the side. I fussy cut these two butterflies and I put pearl bling there. And here's some paper flowers. And then I put a, a, a paper white rose down there too. And this is uh, butterfly punches that I had that I used. I made a butterfly here for the inner uh, card. Open up with another butterfly there. Okay, I didn't put anything here yet. I'm just gonna, probably going to leave that blank, you know, for writing in a, a sentiment. Or if I come up with something later on, I can write in there. Now, this one is a stamp um, that a friend of mine has sent me. He says, live well, laugh often, and love much. Okay, and I put that there on some cardstock paper, cream cardstock. And I put some pink flowers, light pink flowers, paper flowers, a little um, green uh, bird with two other pink flowers there on the, on the edge. Okay, and here's the back, which says, hand hand stand with love for you there's a little stamp on the back okay and that's the whole card it's kind of chunky because of some of the things i put in there the flowers and stuff was kind of chunky here's the other one okay here's the other one the pink one that i did this is the purple one okay and um well that's all i have for today um, I'm going to have pictures of this down at my blog, which is shameforcrafts.blogspot.com. Okay, I want to thank you today for watching, and God bless. Bye-bye.